Councillor candidates and branch leaders staged a sit-in at the same at same house overnight. They say that their candidate list has been tampered with and that some councillors were removed due to the step-aside rule. They say this is against the will of the people. So let's get more with our reporter, senior reporter Dasan Tatia, who has been speaking to affected members. Dasan, thank you for making time. Uh, the lists have been submitted to the IEC. What are you hearing from these aggrieved members of the ANC? Well, Clement, although that list has been uh, submitted and completed, it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone on the ground is happy, as you would have seen in other parts of the country as well. So just take a look at what, what's happening behind me now. This is the ANC's provincial office here. Now, you spoke about the sit-in last night, but it didn't stop there. So these disgruntled members then continued that protest today. They gathered at the Google Klamini Park in Durban Central. That's where they decided on a way forward. How were they going to address this issue of unhappiness with the decisions that were taken by the ANC. They've now taken that protest here to the provincial headquarters, hoping to get a response from someone in the PEC, someone that can address their concerns around those lists. But we're going to unpack it a little further now. I've got uh, Njabulo Mpunu with me. He's speaking on behalf of the grouping that you see behind me. Njabulo, thanks for joining me. So it's clear then that you are unhappy about the lists. What percentage would you say of the branches in Etekwini do you say the people here represent in that unhappiness? Uh, branches that are here, uh, there are over 50% of branches that are in Etekwini. So uh, in Etekwini we have 111 branches. So basically we are having uh, here for around 55 to, 55 to 60 branches of Etekwini region that are actually raising their issues, that are actually raising serious concerns because uh, when, what, what this government is actually saying, they are saying that uh, the processes were the processes of the ANC. Now, whenever you are not happy with the processes of the ANC, the, the first point of departure to, uh, to actually address those issues is the office of the ANC, the provincial office of the ANC. Now, it becomes very difficult because uh, yesterday already the list uh, was submitted when these comrades have already launched their disputes, but the list, uh, if, uh, uh, already, people have already signed as candidates and uh, the list uh, and everything is going as normal. Now these comrades are saying that, no, let us take it to the provincial office to address these issues. Um, issues that these comrades are raising are mainly three issues. The issue you of... You spoke about tampering, and that's a very serious allegation as well. Yeah. Just un unpack that for me, and, and yeah. what proof is there of this tampering that you're talking about? Okay. Uh, what actually the issues that you are raising are the issues, the three issues, and I will enter into that, uh, the, tempering, the, the tempering of the process. Uh, three issues that you are raising. One is the issue of uh, the PR list. Uh, that's where actually the tempering began. Because uh, in the norms and the traditions of the ANC, it has never happened that, uh, that uh, we the, the, ANC, the ANC will temper with the top 10 of the PR list. And comrades are saying they have raised the names in Etewini. They, they were names that have been raised mostly in Etewini. And by the way, when these names are being raised, in each and every branch, you have correspondences of these meetings. So these comrades have those, have those correspondence of their, of their branches and the minutes of those meetings that raises those PR, PR councillors' name. But uh, some, if not most of those, P, of those PR uh, that were nominated highly in Etewin uh, are not appearing uh, in the top ten. So the ANC would say that they're doing that to accommodate gender balance. That was the response for, for, for moving some of those names around. Do, do, you, do you believe that? Uh, no, I do not believe that because uh, over the years the ANC has been always been a caring organisation. They have considered gender, uh, they have considered the, the geographic spread and, other, and, other, and many other issues, and they have done it uh, without tempering with that top ten because the will of the people must be must be advocated at all material times. So I will I will actually not uh, believe that uh, it is it is the, uh, the actual reason. So, so I just want to wrap here because we were run out. Of time but what are you going to do beyond this protest i mean you've you've said to me that yesterday you received no response from the provincial uh, leadership here today you're asking for the same thing if you don't receive the response considering that the list has been submitted what is your next avenue 
Okay. You say these people that are here are representing branches. Uh, they are not the actual branch, but they are representing branches. So they are mandated by branches to come here and register their concern. So the issue of the way forward will be taken by branches that they represent because if there are not there are no actual response today, they have to go back to branches and report that the ANC provincial office does not take us serious, then what then do must do? Then they will come then uh, they, they will be mandated by the very same branches that have mandated them today to come here. And also the issues that this comrades are raising, the issue of the white councillors, that the white councillors, the, the process of the ANC is clear that the white councillors uh, they, they must be a PTM and the white uh, and, 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 and the what community meeting of the ANC and will of the people must be must be respected. And some of these branches, uh, I speak about what 83 in Umlazi. In what 83 in Umlazi, uh, a person that has signed as a white candidate is not even a member in that branch. He was contesting in another branch, what 78. But today uh, we wake up. He is a he is a white candidate of a white that does not even reside in. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Mchabulam Kunu. Raising some very serious concerns, they're also hoping that they will get a response to that. You would have heard there at the end talking about people appearing on these lists that uh, they, in some cases, had not heard of. But uh, as they wait, they'll now be taking a resolution on what is the way forward, considering that those lists have been submitted. Yeah, and this is while the IEC is trying to conclude the processes following uh, political parties uh, submitting those lists by 9 p.m., uh, which was the deadline yesterday. Dustin, thank you for making time. Dustin Tatya is our reporter live to us from KwaZulu-Natal.